Destiny has evolved massively from 2014 to 2020. We, the Guardians, also started our journey as simple travellers back in 2014, resurrected by the Ghost to become the most powerful and unbeatable Guardians in 2020. And from here, our journey continues. We called it The Traveller, and its arrival changed us forever. Eyes up, Guardian. You must push back the darkness. Guardians are fighting on Earth and beyond. Join them. Six of us went down into the pit. In the end, they all bowed before me. We have slain his brood. We have murdered his son. And now the Taken King comes for us all. Indestructible. You're not brave. You've merely forgotten the fear of death. We should have been there. Any last words? I'm coming home, Ace. So, this is to be a reckoning. responsible for our collapse are coming back. We've been waiting. We are your salvation. The line between light and dark is so very thin. You're on. A side should always be taken. Even if it's the wrong side. Welcome back, Guardians. This is Expider Virus. Today in this video, I'll talk about the upcoming DLC, Beyond Light, which is scheduled to drop on 22nd in September this year, and is available to pre-order right now, and briefly next two DLC that are coming in 2021 and 2022. Before we start, just a quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, as that will help keep you updated with a lot of my upcoming Destiny 2 content and that will help others to find this video easily. So it looks like the Destiny sequel 
stops with Destiny 2 and Destiny 3 will never be a thing as Bungie has mentioned. As this is not the right direction for a large game like Destiny to reset all player progress and set the player's experience back, that took almost a year for them to reset and repair. Instead Bungie is working on two different sustainable ecosystems. First one is DCV, which is Destiny Content Vault, where there will store some old destination and related activities each year to make room for the new experience. Let's have a quick look in their own world. They say Destiny 2 is too large to efficiently update and maintain. The size and the complexity of the game are also contributing to more bugs and less innovation. Instead of building a Destiny 3 and leaving Destiny 2 behind each year, we are going to cycle older, less actively played content out of the live game and into what we are calling the Destiny Content Fold DCV. This will allow us to add to and support Destiny 2 for years including the three new annual expansions we are announced today, starting with Beyond Light this fall. The DCV will include all content from Destiny 1 and anything that cycles out from Destiny 2. We'll bring back activity and destination content from the DCV each year. Unfolding starts in Destiny 2 Year 4 with the Cosmodrome coming back as well as its three strikes and the return of Vault of the Glass Raid. The primary Destiny 2 content leaving the game and going into the DCV this fall are the destinations Mars, Io, Titan, Mercury and Leviathan and their supported activities. There will be new ways to earn the exotic originally linked to content that has entered the DCV. When beyond light ships, the director will have the following destinations Europa, which is a new one, Cosmodrome, Moon, Tangle Shore, Dreaming City, European Dead Zone, and Nessus. They have also added this approach allows us to respond to players' feedback more rapidly, enable more innovation, and will keep Destiny 2 and your character thriving for years to come. More details to come soon and throughout the year. The second ecosystem they are working on is the next generation supports, as whatever console you own Destiny 2 will come with you to your next generation console with no extra cost. So if you own a copy of Destiny 2 in Xbox One and you upgrade to Xbox Series X, the same Destiny 2 and all his character and progress will be transferred over by our spot delivery and that goes to PS4 to PS5 as well. Let's move over to a live stream for a little bit. We're also really happy to say that whatever content you already own or will own in Destiny 2 will come with you to your next generation console of choice at no extra charge. On PlayStation, you'll be able to upgrade to PlayStation 5 for free and on Xbox, we will support smart delivery also for free. In plain English, this means if you own Destiny 2 expansion content on those platforms now or in the future or by Beyond Light in September, you can keep playing on the same family consoles for free without buying the expansions again. We think that's going to be awesome. And you don't have to worry about busting up your friends list either because we're going to support intergenerational crossplay within each console platform ecosystem as well. This means that if your, your brother's playing on PS4 and your sister's playing on PS5, all three of you can play together. And we're gonna do the same thing in the Xbox ecosystem. This year we're focused on intergenerational play. Hopefully next year we can finally do the thing and get them all playing together in the same ecosystem. Bungie also talks about intergeneration play where if you own a PS4 and your friend owns a PS5, you can both play together. Same goes to Xbox users. This year they have introduced intergeneration crossplay 
and next year they are hoping to put together a crossplay where all these platforms can play in the same ecosystem. Now let's talk about Beyond the Light which is the new DLC coming this fall. Kicks off on 22nd of September this year and with that we'll have a brand new destination Europa which is the smallest of all Jupiter moons and Cosmodrome which is one of the first area from Earth returning from Destiny 1. Before you start, let's head over to the actual gameplay trailer for Beyond Light. Oh man, so with all these new locations, as guardians get to build a new damage type called Stasis. It kicks off a new era in Destiny where players will discover the true nature of the light and the dark. Not just walking the thin line between, but wielding the darkness itself as a weapon with stasis. And we did just get like a very brief look at that today. And, you know, obviously we're gonna end up showing more throughout the course of the summer. And the other thing is stasis, this new power, isn't just gonna be guardian supers and abilities. It's a brand new damage type. So that means it's gonna ultimately sit alongside solar, arc and void as the first new element we've introduced to the game since the original Destiny release way back in 2014. This is a big deal. Like, it's a big deal to add this to the universe. Like, it changes everything. And it's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> Today, yeah, you got a glimpse of this this new power and it's it's definitely the pursuit and acquisition and, and the player's ability to wield it is something that's gonna be woven in through the narrative of the game. Like, the game is kind of a collision course between you and, and Aramis and uh, we're gonna show you a bunch more about stasis later in the episode. Stasis is not just a new super or ability, it's a new elemental damage type, same like Arc, Void and Solar, that has been going on, on from Destiny since 2014. Wield it from darkness to slow things down. It reads, as the new trait emerges, so too does a mysterious new power, Stasis. Rooted in darkness, Guardian will wield this new elemental power alongside Arc, Solar and Void, summoning epic supers to dominate the battlefield. Titans, Warlocks and Hunters each uses Stasis in a different way, from showing down foes with the Stasis field to encasing and shattering enemies with destructive might. From the gameplay trailer, we can see Hunters uses it as some kind of throwing axe, where Warlocks has a spear or some kind, and not too sure about Titan to me, it looks like some kind of Stasis hand or that you would smash the ground with. Let me know what do you think in a comment section. And with that, we'll be able to put our hand on some great new exotics. They do look like a brand new rocket launcher and sword from Golden Age. Again, let me know what do you think. 
There will be three new raids with this expansion. We all know by now our favourite Vault of Glass raid will be one of them, as Bungie mentioned earlier, including a totally new raid called Deep Stone Crypt in the brand new location Europa. It reads Deep Stone Crypt Below the frozen thunder of Europa lies the Deep Stone Crypt. For decades it has remained dormant. Your fire team cautiously approaches, weapon raised and the final plan is set in motion. Well, Bungie didn't just stop there. They have already teased us with two other new DLCs which are to be released The Witch Queen in 2021 and Lightfall which is the name could change in future and is scheduled to release on 2022. There are some other changes coming into place in line with Destiny's Content Vault. Let's have a look at Bungie's own words, what they say. Well, first of all, they talk about the free race that's coming in. Uh, we already mentioned about that. And they say there will be a new ways to earn exotics originally tied to destination and activity content that have entered the des um, Destiny content vault. Available strikes will be based on a pool of possible strikes from active destination. When a destination goes into the DCV, so too will the strikes. The PvP map playlist will remain a curated best of mixture of the map from Destiny 1 and Destiny 2. Gambit and Gambit Prime are being merged into a single mode with their original armor visuals available to on from the Drifter. And they say, to be clear, the DCV does not apply to any weapons and armors in a player's inventory or vault. The DCV is about activities and destinations. We know you will have a lot of question about how this will work. We'll share more updates about our content plans throughout the summer. This includes a detailed overview of everything changing via patch notes, extensive DPS articles that will help break down what's changing and when, as well as a lot of opportunities for you to ask questions along the way. And of course the new, de uh, new expansion is already in the market for the pre-order uh, right now in three different forms. The, uh, with the deluxe pre-order edition you will get exotic Rhyme Ghost Shell, Legendary Emblem, uh, 4 year seasonal content that's next 4 season pass, Freeze Tag Exotic Emote, No Time to Explain Exotic Pulse Rifle, Catalyst and our ornament for that and any other Sky Exotic Sparrow. With the Collector's Pre-Orders Edition, you'll get everything included in Deluxe Edition, digital codes only, Diecast Splinter of Darkness Replica with lights, the Europa Explorer Bag, the Europa Explorer Canteen, Mysterious Logbook, other discoveries from Europa. Currently, this is all the information I know so far. As soon as we know more, I'll share with you. If you want to see more upcoming Destiny 2 news, please subscribe and hit the bell so it will notify you whenever I upload a new Destiny content. Thank you for watching the video and keep safe. Thank you.